this video we will introduce EndlessForms.com, a website where you can evolve three-dimensional objects using a cutting-edge generative encoding and then publish those objects so that other users can come and further evolve them, view them, or print them. Each object is grown from a genome in a process inspired by developmental biology. This encoding, called the Compositional Pattern Producing Network, abstracts how animals grow from a single cell to any form, such as a jaguar, hawk, or human. This cutting-edge encoding is the reason the objects often look so natural, and why mutations to their genome produce offspring that are similar, yet interestingly different. This website is the first time internet visitors can interactively evolve three-dimensional objects with an encoding based on developmental biology. Here I will evolve an object called Mad Hatter, which somebody else who I've never met has published on this site. What's interesting is that that person might have found the Mad Hatter uh, an, in an interesting intermediate milestone and published it and gone on to further evolve it in a different direction. But because they did that, I can take it and go in the direction that I want. And by doing so, I can browse the offspring of the Mad Hatter, choose the ones I like in each generation, and then the ones that I chose become the parents of the next generation. What this means is that the entire internet and all of the users on it can collaboratively explore the space of possible three-dimensional designs produced by compositional pattern producing networks. It does a few things. It allows us to explore this cutting-edge encoding and learn about how it produces morphologies and whether the morphologies it produces are similar to those we see in nature. And it also allows non-engineers to evolve and create three-dimensional shapes that they can then download and use for 3D printing, or for, for games and whatnot. So it allows people to engage and, and play with evolution in a way that causes them to see it in action and use it. We've enabled users to go to any object, click on it, and see the ancestral chain or the lineage of objects back from where the object came from. So here, this object labeled spacesuit, you can see the chain that takes it all the way back to an object that was called queen, which is at the beginning of the chain. We've also enabled users to take advantage of social media, such as Facebook and Twitter, to share the objects they make with their friends, and also browse categories of objects. So they can see very common objects. For example, all of these were labeled mushrooms by users, and you can see that there are various qualities of mushrooms, or various takes on the butterfly concept. Another enhancement is that you can click on any shape and click the 3D print button, which will send it over to our partners, Shapeways, which actually allows you to print the object in any material you want, such as something that's bronze, stainless steel, plastic, or in this case, we'll, we'll get a quote for a silver object. So in plastic, it was $4, and in silver, it's 55 Going back to the, the site, not only can you 3D print objects, but you can also download the file and, and use it in any way you want. That might be inside of a video game, or for a piece of art installation on your computer, or again, you can uh, download what's called an STL file, which describes the object, and you've got it yourself on your computer, and you can print it on your own printer, or further uh, customize it in any way you want. To conclude, we'll just show you some of the shapes that have been evolved on the site. You can see the diverse array here, and you can check them out on EndlessForms.com. There's more being published every day. And you can also see some of the examples of 3D printed objects. So all of the objects in this video I printed today, which were newly published on the site and highly rated. And it's really interesting to hold them in your hand. You can almost imagine a chess set made of these or any other art. Another benefit of the site is educational outreach. When you show it, kids and adults get really interested and ask a lot of questions about evolution and developmental biology, but most importantly, they're excited to play with the site and then print it. Feel free to experience the site yourself at EndlessForms.com, and we thank you very much for your interest.